as one who sets his sail towards mystery shores, driven through huge oceans by the breath of God, the fathomless below, the unknown around, his soul abandoned the blind star field space. Afar from all that makes the measured world, plunging to hidden eternities it withdrew, back from mind's foaming surface to the vasts, voiceless within us in omniscient sleep. Above the imperfect reach of word and thought, beyond the sight that seeks support of form, lost in deep tracts of superconscient light, or voyaging in blank, featureless nothingness. Soul in the trackless incommensurable, or past not self and self and selflessness, transgressing the dream shores of conscious mind, he reached at last his sempiternal base. On sorrowless heights no winging cry disturbs, pure and untouched above this mortal play, is spread the spirit's hushed immobile air. There no beginning is and there no end, there is the stable force of all that moves. There the aeonic laborer is at rest. There turns no keyed creation in the void, no giant mechanism watched by a soul. There creaks no fate turned huge machinery, the marriage of evil with good within one breast, the clash of strife in the very clasp of love the dangerous pain of life's experimental in the values of inconsequence and chance. The peril of mind's gamble, throwing our lives at stake in a wager of indifferent gods and the shifting lights and shadows of the idea falling upon the surface consciousness and in the dream of a mute witness soul creating the error of a half-seen world where knowledge is a seeking ignorance, life steps a stumbling series without suit, its aspect of fortuitous design, its equal measure of the true and false. In that immobile and immutable realm, find no access, no cause, no right to live. There only reigns the spirit's motionless power poised in itself through still eternity and its omniscient and omnipotent peace. Thought clashes not with thought and truth with truth. There is no war of right with rival right. There are no stumbling and half-seeing lives passing from chance to unexpected chance. No suffering of hearts compelled to beat in bodies of the inert inconscience make. Armed with the immune, occult, unsinking fire, the guardians of eternity keep its law forever fixed upon truth's giant base in her magnificent and termless house. There nature on her dumb spiritual couch, immutably transcendent, knows her source. And to the stir of multitudinous worlds, a sense unmoved in a perpetual calm, all causing, all sustaining and aloof. The witness looks from his unshaken poise, an eye immense regarding all things done, apart, at peace, above creation stir, immersed in the eternal altitudes. He abode defended in his shoreless self, companioned only by the all-seeing one, a mind too mighty to be bound by thought, a life too boundless for the play and space, a soul without borders, unconvinced of time. He felt the extinction of the world's long pain. He became the unborn self that never dies. He joined the sessions of infinity. On the cosmic murmur, primal loneliness fell. Annulled was the contact formed with time-born things. 
Empty grew nature's wide community. All things were brought back to their formless seed. The world was silent for a cyclic hour. Although the afflicted nature he had left maintained beneath him her broad numberless fields, her enormous act receding failed remote, as if a soulless dream at last had ceased. No voice came down from the high silences. None answered from her desolate solitudes. A stillness of cessation reigned. The wide immortal hush before the gods are born. A universal force awaited, mute. The veiled transcendence, ultimate decree.